This short video shows you how to calculate the width of the projection of a, a concrete foundation. It's important to establish the width of this projection because you're going to use it firstly in the calculation of the excavation of the topsoil and also later on when we're working out the volume of backfill of hardcore and excavated um, material arising from site. So as you can see, this projection width um, is not annotated on the drawing, so we need to take into account uh, those dimensions which have been annotated. Using your understanding of construction te technology, we know that the wall is going to be central to the concrete foundation. So the projection to the outer edge of the foundation will be exactly the same as um, projection to the um, inner edge here. So uh, by scaling I've established that the width of this foundation is 625. So the first thing I need to do is to establish the total width of the composite wall. If you look on your section um, you'll see that uh, further up the drawing um, off the screen here that's clearly annotated. So um, we have a um, foundation, um, we have a brick wall of 102.5, um, we have a um, cavity fill of 75 and we have a blockwork skin of 100. So if we add this together we get 270. 7.5. So that's the width of our composite wall. Now to find the projections we take our width of our concrete foundation. We will deduct from that the, the width of the wall and that gives us the um, width of the inner and outer projection as 300 and 47.5. If we divide it by 2 remember they're equal we end up with the width of the projection of 173.75. Um, now these calculations will be done in the waste column and um, in terms of signposting um, it's probably better at this stage to give it a title of projection so you can clearly see what you've done later on. So uh, that's how you calculate the width of a concrete foundation projection.